Okay, Scott, this is a test run of the extruder just for you. There's the uh, TIG mill right there. There's the extruder all set up with the filament in it. There we see a little bit of a test run earlier. Uh, I put the, uh, put the Loctite on right here and let it set for about an hour, so hopefully that is enough. And there's the computer right there. It's doing the controlling. And there's the uh, lab jack. And there's the annoying cat that's going to go away. There's power supply right there. I've already got it preset. Right now the temperature is showing 160, 180 degrees and climbing. The voltage is set to 8.3. So we'll just sit here and wait for this thing to finish heating up. Currently up to about 300. There's the stepper motor in action. I've got the uh, filament marks, so you should be able to see what's going on. Temperature's currently about 370. You gotta wait for it to get up to about 450. Currently at 400. So the thing I'll do here is I'll snip this off right there. I have no idea how far this will go. Let's see what happens. We're currently up to just hit 450. 456. Go ahead and hit the extruder here and see if it uh, there it goes, starting to shoot some out. Doing a pretty good job too. It's the best, one of the better performances I've seen. Okay, now it's stalling again. Temperature's dropped off on me some, so we'll wait a second here. Snip that off, back up to about 460. 5, so we'll run it some more here. And it looks like I'm stalling. Tighten the screw down a little bit more. A few more turns there. We're up to 477. Stuff should be good and Unfortunately, it looks like it's still slipping on me. Up to 485. This stuff should be plenty molten now, but that's sort of the type of problem I've been running into. But at least you get a chance to sort of see it in operation. You saw it extruding pretty good there for a sec, but now it's misbehaving again. So that's all for now.